Hello, I'm Johnny. Nice to meet you. I recently became obsessed with a VR game. It's a famous music game, Beat Saber. For me, this game is the killer application of VR. There are several killer games that you have to buy in every kind of game console. For example, Mario on Nintendo FC, Sonic on Sega MD, Final Fantasy on PlayStation, Wii Sports on Wii, SSB on Switch, and also GTA 5 on Steam. Huh? Basically, Beat Saber is the main reason why I buy the VR headset. Brand of gaming style, players can follow the beat and travel the beat node with light saber. In my opinion, it's the overload the VR game. I might just play this game and then I link it to the constructory. There is no association until April 13 this year. Constructory released the vision of the beta R244. It's said provide a new feature, 3D strip. So I tried this feature in-game project. After I adding this object, there's hexagonal dice which marked with number 1 to 6. Take a look. Isn't this cube the same as Beat Saber? Just replace with red background with white point or blue background with white point. Then this cube will be the same as Beat Saber. Since I have this idea, I want to complete this prototype again as soon as possible. Let's make a similar game. Here is a brief description of my prototype game. After a month hour, I finally finished the game and I named it Music Beat. I know this game is not well done, but at least it provides three music and three levels of difficulty. There are total nine possible game experiences, and I know this game has a lot of bugs. But please forgive me about that. I finished this game in a very short time. There is no way to be exhaustive. This is an homage to the Beceiver. My main purpose is to prove that Construct Street can finish a similar game. Absolutely no intention to plagiarize. This took me a whole month. I did it in my spare time at work. It's very hard. If you feel it's a nice work, please also press like, share, and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much. So then, let me explain step by step what problems did I encounter and how did I solve them. I won't spend too much time on detailing. I only pick the highlight to describe. If you are interested in how to make this game, Please download the game project from the link shown in the description box below. Then start it by yourself. I won't go into all the details here. If you have played Beat Saber or watched it before, you'll know that the scratch has led to you from the far end. And remember this effect. It could be done by new features of Construct 3. But I didn't see many people to use it. This function is called Z Elevation, an acro feature. It's actually an extension of layer. You could use this value press pieces of layers to be back or be forced. Compared to the layers function, it supports more depths with Z axis. So if you press the camera and control it in front or behind, then you could go through this layer. You could refer to the video I made before. This function is mentioned layer. So why is it embarrassing? Because it's neither really 3D and it's not really 2D. It's more like a stage show. If I just need the effect of stage performance, I could do it with scoring rate and the parallax to achieve it. You could refer to the first chapter of the airplane game. If I want to make a 3D game, these layers don't have high. Layers and layers of paper always make me wonder what kind of games needs the feature. Until now, with the 3D strap and plus Z elevation, just like apple and pen, uh, you should be able to finish a similar bit saber game. First, the depth distance I have to define the position of each square, which is the value of Z elevation. After my test, the square can be created from minus 700 and 0 to 39 is the correct position for the player to slide. After 40, it means that the player has failed. And the final total travel time is 5.5 seconds. So the distance per second is about 134.5. You can get a Z elevation of each square in this way. Let's say when creating a square, the position of the Z elevation is minus 700. At one second, the position is minus 565.5. At 5 seconds, it's minus 27.5. Next is chopping the square. You need to set up the hand knife to chop the square. Layer left hand and right hand. 
When they cross the square by the correct direction, it will be split by 2. The event can be triggered with the onCollide function. But after many testing, the onCollide function of the 3D shape is ambiguous. It's not so easy to trigger. It always fails. This method plays hard to play. So I created an area range from minus 10 to 50 using 9 life on one side. Increase the probability of the onCollide event triggering. Next, I mainly want players to play this game on mobile device. So here I need to support multi-touch function. This can be achieved by the touch function in Construct 3. You can refer to the video I mentioned earlier about making airplane games. Moreover, this game can still be played on the computer. So you can use a keyboard to play it. Using WASD, QEZXC as the left hand, using the numeric keys as the right hand. Or you can use the mouse as the right hand too. Here is the core of the input. Actually, it's very complicated. I spent a lot of time to do this. I'm not very really sure that there are any bugs, so please forgive me. And then, the music selection. After Google search, I choose Audio Notice as my music source. It meets the requirement of CC4. Easy for me to modify and reuse music. So I will follow the size requirement to reveal the source of the music in this game. In the end, I picked three songs. Next, I reduced each music to about one minute. This will spell out the reason of the game experience. The next one is the beat dot. It asks the player to follow the reason of the music, pressing a button or waving a hand knife to trap scroll. And the system determines is it correct or incorrect when a player pressing the button. So, how to create the sheet of the beat dots? The most important thing is how to set beat dots at the right time point. There are two issues. First, there is no suitable software. Second, this needs to be completed frame by frame. We have to fine tune again and again. That's a very painful thing. And not precisely. So, what should I do? Of course, using Google. And I finally found a solution. That is BitSage. It's a web based software for analyzing bit dots through AI. Generating dots file for the beat saver. You could select the difficult label, type of the beat dots, mode of play. The opt files are in JSON format. Next, I put it into Construct 3 and pass it to the JSON function of the Construct 3. After this, I still have to check the definition of the beat saver and convert it to my project. But it's a little difficult in playing which were generated through this site. So I fixed the bit dots with the dividing by 2 to reduce the difficult level. But there are some blocking blocks in the JSON file. I just deleted it by pass. So in the music selection, you may see the total numbers of bit dots doesn't match the true dots. It's a minor anomaly. Just pretend you didn't see it. Otherwise, you can fix them by yourself. After both, the beer dots problem is solved. In the end of this project, of course I have to design HP, combo count, and score. I have completed and it's programmed in the corresponding play. Since it's not very difficult, so I won't go into details. After the player has passed a song, where pass the song, score, and make controls is required to be storage in the device. This can be done with the local storage. You could see parts or not. In music selection state, this records were saved in the local storage. This design can help player to know his previous scan results. If you are interested in how local storage working, you can check the video, lucky number 4, as I mentioned before. Okay, that's a brief explanation of this game project, the developing concept of music beats. It's about what problems I faced and their solution. Once again, if you like this video, please also press the like, share, and the subscribe buttons. I really spent several weeks to prepare this content. If you could press the like button, I will be very happy. Okay, thank you very much for watching today. I'm Zhong Yi. See you. Time for business service again. Thanks for your supporting. Ships nice sticker. Trust me, one and two are already sun sales. Let me thank you.
and thank you again and again if you haven't seen these sticks before. And if you are interested, please scan the QR code on the screen, or you could search for it in nice stick store. But the keyword, 就是咩的咩咩咩咩日常 Then you could see our creation. Your support is the driving force of our creation. Thank you very much. Bye bye.